Hello and welcome again to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Utzler and I'm very glad you can join us again today. One of our last videos we had an opportunity to take a look at the Gamo CFX rifle. This particular Gamo CFX is the tactical version and it's been provided by Pyramid Air. As you know they've been a tremendous supporter of this channel and all we're trying to do to bring information to you all about air guns. What sets the tactical package apart from the standard CFX is this very vastly upgraded scope. It also comes with a knockdown target, some extra pellets, a pouch, and some glasses. It's a very nice combination and it's well worth the extra $75 or so. We're going to go right into some shooting tests and we'll talk about how to cock it, how to load it, and how to shoot it, and how to get the best results. And we'll look at some different pellets while we're at it. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. Since we've already had a really good look at this rifle, let's skip all the real uh, elementary stuff and get right to the good stuff. This rifle from Gamo is an underlever cocking rifle versus most of their others which are brake barrels. The way you cock the gun is you pull the handle down from here and return it. You load the breech by rotating that little rotation breech rotation thingy there and you insert the pellet on that ramp. Now the pellets sometimes have a tendency to want to rotate on you um, and also they have a tendency of not wanting to seat all the way in. The problem with that is uh, most specifically if the pellet does not seat properly um, when you close this breech it will shear off the end of that uh, of the skirt of that pellet or dent or bend the skirt of the pellet and uh, you basically throw away any accuracy. Once the rifle is loaded you're ready to fire. Oh man, the uh, trigger pull on these gammas is really, really awful. Now you used to be able to replace the trigger. See that pellet there? I don't know if you can see that, Paul, but that pellet wanted to flip over and go skirt first into the breech. Yeah. So you got to rotate it, flip it back around and kind of help it go in nose first there. But the second stage on these gamma triggers is so long. You used to be able to replace them with an aftermarket trigger, but they've changed the design. That trigger won't work anymore. Nice thing about this particular rifle, it's not terribly hold sensitive, not like some others. You see, you kind of want to find your balance point, and you don't want to grab this. You sort of want to rest it. Um, I've gotten into the habit of not actually putting my cheek down but actually sort of just looking through the scope. Sometimes I keep both eyes open, sometimes I don't. All depends on the rifle. Let's switch over to the red fire pellets. I'm going to go change the other camera and focus on another target. We'll see what we get with those. The next pellet we're going to try um, are these red fire pellets. Now these pellets have a little polymer tip. It allows them to penetrate maybe a little bit thicker hide and then immediately expand on impact. And they give you a real, um, a real deep wound channel. And it's exactly what you need if you're, if you're hunting small game. Um, these would be great for rabbits or squirrels or um, anything you needed to really make sure you didn't want it running away on you. It also helps with this rifle because it's not, it doesn't shoot quite up to the same power as a lot of Gambo's other guns. Um, so any little advantage will give you, will, will actually help you. 
tell you, I really love the optics they put on this CFX Tactical. It's way, way, way better than the standard scope. Oh, they should put this on every every gun they have. I'm going to shoot one more group just for giggles. We're going to throw some of these PBA ammo pellets through them. Let's grab the right caliber. Um, now, Gammo really touts these pellets. They're extra lightweight. They're supposed to give you, quote, more power and accuracy. Um, all I've found that they give you is more velocity. Accuracy is uh, um, really sort of a mystery with these guys. Every now and then you'll get a batch that's manufactured pretty well like this particular batch of these um, looks like it was done with some pretty good tolerances I've had some of these come through however that looked like they were carved out of a um, you know carved out by a three-year-old so um, uh, they need to if, they, if they're going to really promote these they need to uh, they need to do something about their quality control with that um, looks like my goats are using my target for uh, a plaything, so I need to go get them off, and then we will <laughs> queue up for the next round of shooting. I'll be right back. The uh, the heavier H and N pellets were shooting a little under 800 feet per second. The lighter red fire pellets were getting in the mid 800s. Now, you know, according to the marketing, these PBA pellets should get us right up to that 1,200 foot per second range. I don't really see it happening because this gun's already shooting uh, well below the advertised velocity. Let's go ahead and throw some through it. We'll take a look at how the increased velocity impacts accuracy, which is really going to be uh, the interesting part of this of, the, of this segment. Let's see how it does. Um, I think that should wrap things up for today. I want to say thanks to the guys over at Pyramid Air for providing this product. All these pellets, the targets, everything we have used today has been brought to us by Pyramid Air, and I want to say thanks to those guys. You know, one of the things that they do, and I, and I keep forgetting to mention it, and it's a very important service that they offer, is their 10 for 10 service. The 10 for 10 service will um, basically I give you the option to pay an extra 10 bucks on any of your gun orders and they will take it out of the box they'll review it for um, you know obvious physical problems and then they'll run it through the chronograph to see if there's anything potentially wrong with the gun it identifies problems or potential problems in something before it goes on the truck and shipped to your house most recently I've received probably two or three guns here in the last couple months all of which frankly I wasn't able to review because they've had one problem or another so it's really spurred me to remind the viewers and frankly remind myself even when I order review product have them do the 10 for 10 uh, that'll wrap up this show um, my name is Rick Utzer with airgunweb.com thank you so much for joining us again today until next time please shoot safe have a whole lot of fun